Hi, everyone, and welcome to another Facebook Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine, and I'm honored to have a really cool friend and guest, um, Raheem Jones. He is co-owner with Patricia Jones of The New Vegan. He's also uh, an inventor of a cool new app that we'll be talking about a little later in this episode. But first things first, welcome, Raheem. It's great to see you again, my friend. Thank you for having me, Jeff. <laughs> So tell me about how it all started with you. I know you. this is a long journey for you and uh, with a, some crisscrossing pathways, but how did you get started becoming vegan? And then how did that lead into a uh, opening a vegan restaurant? Um, so I guess it's about seven years now. Um, I was 37 at the time when I, I, I uh, discovered veganism i wouldn't say i heard about it you know prior to being 37 uh, but i i just i thought we needed to to eat meat i just you know, i was pretty ignorant at that time um but at that time i i had been married 16 years i had already had five children so when i i met a gentleman that happened to be vegan for a little over 30 years and that's how my journey started and um Long and behold, he was vegan for 30 years, but he didn't, he wasn't a restaurant owner or he wasn't a chef or anything like that. So um, three days later, I just opened up the restaurant here in Delray. There was no real <laughs> options. <in that. laughs> so how did you get the place? How did you pick the spot for the new vegan? So um, I was gonna open something up in Clematis Street and uh, an attorney that I had used uh, Daniel Rose's office was right around the block. And he told me that um, Del Rey would be a pretty, I lived over in this area. He said Del Rey would be a good area. Um, there was no health, nothing really healthy uh, options out here in Del Rey. There were a lot of yoga studios at that mm -hmm. time, years ago, but there wasn't any place for you to kind of finish your session and um, go get go get something to eat, grab something to eat. So I, I picked Del Rey. The rent was pretty cheap at that time, um, and uh, I said, "Look, uh, I think I think yeah, it was like about twelve twelve hundred dollars back then." So you know, I'm a simple guy. That's about thirty five dollars a day. I said, "If I can't make more than thirty five dollars a day, <laughs> I continuously do printing." So that's, that's great. So, so you get the rest. You get the restaurant open, and how did it go in the beginning? Was it, you know, did people know about it? We're using social media. I, I didn't know nothing about it. Everything <laughs> that I made, I just made my, you know, I just made food that um, was healthy. I was the first one. No wheat, no dairy, no soy, no gluten, no GMO, no MSG, no spelt, no barley. So in the beginning. Um, it was about really learning to control my environment. I knew that um, there would be other people that may have had issues and, and things like that. So <laughs> having a restaurant, at least I knew that people that was allergic to something, if I didn't bring it into my restaurant, it wasn't possible for them to get cross contaminated. I know. But I didn't know that in the beginning. I learned all of that stuff, you know, through through going to my surf safe uh, class and all of that good stuff. And and do you have professional cooking training? Where? Um, five children. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. I think I think that um, the reason that our food is unique and different from a lot of other places is because I wasn't molded into think in a certain way, you know, mm -hmm. right off the rip. Um, I refused to go to any vegan restaurant. I think the first place I went to uh, was Darbster's. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was about, i say about 10 months after I had opened up the new vegan. I wanted to go see what what else. I heard about Darbster's. I heard the then Sublime, um, mm -hmm. uh, my second place going to. So wanted to see what was, what else was out there, whatever what great was. So you're just doing what you love, right? Doing what you feel good about. 
<clears throat> um, I, I, I've always fixed things. Okay, I've, I've said ever since a ever since a child, I've always fixed things. You can ask my my parents. Uh, my my uncles were um, sanitation workers, so when I was a kid, they would bring the VCRs and the TVs and all of that stuff home. I think I fixed my first VCR at five years old. If I completely <laughs> fixed VCR, so long story short, I think when my eyes opened up and I saw how badly food was broken what I was doing, what I was giving to my children, what I was you know, um, so happily having these big gatherings and getting together and, um, you know, sharing food with, with, with friends. And when I really saw how fab, bad food was broken, I just wanted to start trying to fix it. And right on. day by day, meal, and it started meal by meal. You know, it wasn't, I had no, I had no meals in the beginning. It was whatever I made. Um, I remember the first guy came in uh, and he said, my friend had something and he don't know. He said, you don't have a, a, a name for it, but he showed me his phone and he was like, I want this. <laughs> I said, right. And um, yeah, it was the Palm Tuna and uh, I didn't oh, yeah. for it at all at that time. And uh, so then I just started, I, I realized, well, maybe I should come up with some names so that it's not so hard for people to figure out what they want. Um, right. But, but yeah, that's how it started. And and uh, one of our uh, a close friend and uh, team clean machine athlete, Karen Sutton, uh, loved coming into your place and he told me about it and I had to come up and, and check it out. Uh, and and the food is delicious. It's really unique. It's stuff that you don't find at other vegan restaurants too, which I really like. So for those of you who are visiting Florida, it's in Delray Beach. Uh, it's close to the ocean. So it's a great place to pick up food and uh, on the go, uh, especially during these times right now during uh, the COVID crisis. But man, great food, food like you've never tasted, desserts, breakfast uh, things are uh, just awesome, creative. They look great. You feel like you're getting a true vegan gourmet meal. Thank yeah, you. you know, just really, really nice. So I thank Corinne for introducing me to you. And then, of course, seeing you guys at the Veg Fest. Well, I was always seeing you at the Veg Fest. Every time we set up a booth, you guys would be out there. That's yeah. where I'm going to get my lunch. <laughs> You know, you and you, I, I think I met you and Corinne, maybe it was my third month of being vegan. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm steady figuring things out every day as we do in life. We're steady figuring stuff out. But becoming a new vegan, it seems like you, your brain opens up a lot faster mm -hmm. you know, trying to figure all of the new stuff out. So, but when I met you and Corinne, the, how can I say this? You guys had already broken the myth because I wasn't, you don't normally think of vegan, especially seven years ago. We got all these documentaries out now to make it, you know, but <laughs> years ago, you did not think of muscles and vegan. You didn't mm -hmm. think of vegan bodybuilding. So right. when I met you and Corinne, you know, I was like, wow, like I, I was, I was blown away. So, mm -hmm. you know, knowing, just kind of knowing how, be, no, doing what I did, I know how hard it must have been for you to put out a product that how can I say this is targeting someone that doesn't even believe that there is that <laughs> right. <laughs> but and that's that's you know the path of trailblazers. We have a passion that drives us. We're not driven by sales. We're driven by our belief in doing something good for others and doing something good in this case, not only for other people but for animals, for the environment, uh, for the health of other human beings. So it's, it's a deeper drive and deeper passion. And I, I think, to be honest, if I didn't have that passion, I would not be doing what I'm doing. And, and, and thankfully, both of you and I uh, lived 
let that passion drive us to success. Whereas many people in our business, restaurants are failing, at a, unfortunately, alarming rate, um, especially right now during during the COVID crisis. You know, I would think, you know, uh, since a lot of the gyms are closed, our sales would go down and they're just the opposite have happened. I think more people are interested in eating better and eating right and, and, and getting more plant-based nutrition in them to actually help protect them, help keep them healthy during this pretty uh, dangerous time. So, um, and so you evolved from that one place and that one restaurant and then uh, obviously you had to pivot in into like almost every other restaurant to having takeout service and even food trucks. Tell me about the food trucks and, and how that came about. Well, um, when when I learned about veganism, I wanted to make the healthiest the healthiest food possible for my family and friends. So um, I, we started making our own meat, uh, our own protein substitutes right, seven years ago. Uh, chickpea base that was the, one of the first things that i learned um and then uh from there just like sprouting dehydrating you know coming up with our own base so i was able to build a restaurant you you know using just george foreman grills <laughs> and I, I i i you know people used to tell me i was crazy uh back then but when you look at what we were able to do um, I, I built an entire menu off of a George Foreman grill with, that allowed me to move into whatever area I wanted to move into. So I could take my George Foreman grill into a small truck or into a small uh, venue and still be able to produce uh, like we were producing here in the restaurant. You just don't have you know, all of the bells and whistles like the a sometimes the air condition from a restaurant or whatever whatever but um building building the building uh the menu the way we built the menu uh, allowed us the, in the beginning i said you know i i i want to build a menu that i can go into at later on down road. i could go into the howard johnson or i could go into the hilton and say look i will provide you vegan options and i don't need any of your equipment i got my own stuff in my backpack and i'll take care of the vegan options all over here that that was the that was the idea years ago and then a lot of stuff happened i mean my company has been through some really really uh, blows um over the over these past you know five seven years coming up on the fifth year of my cousin being taken from us. He was a big part of the new vegan. Um, he handled the sprouting and the dehydrating. Um, uh, so, you know, just getting back to, I, I, I look at some of the videos that, that I have of us just talking back in the day and, you know, I'm not even halfway I'm not even halfway at the point of the conversation when we had in those videos. So I still have a long way to go just to get back to where uh, my mind frame was prior to, to, to all of that. But, you know, one day at a time, you know, one plate at a time, one, one, little, one little thing at a time. But, yeah, from opening up the restaurant, then, um, you know, doing the veg fests and doing things like that, um, I built the food truck, um, and then after the food truck, because I, I just do things. Like, I don't think about it. I don't think it all the way through. I kind of just start <laughs> with it. So after doing the food truck, we had did that, the veg fest, and um, I had fed more people at that veg fest than I had ever fed in one day. Um, mm -hmm. I realized from there, I said, okay, this is, this is not big enough to handle the community that is behind us. So then I went and I, I purchased a trailer. And then from that trailer, I built just built a bigger restaurant. That was actually bigger than the restaurant we have here in the kitchen. Um, and then that was to do events and things like that. But then like, you know, like culvert hit. So um, 
I just found a, a big enough space that we could create a drive through with that, with that unit mm -hmm. and then still be able to provide people, you know, five months ago, it was very, 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 very scary. I mean, it's still bad, right? But you got to think five months ago, uh, when mm -hmm. we first put that thing out there, people were scared to come outside and we, we literally put up a drive through in some of the craziest times. You got to kind of do those things um, to try to stay ahead of the curve. And I wanted to stay safe. I wanted people to stay safe. When people still to be able to come out of their house, but still stay inside your car and have access to food um, and it, keeping my family safe. So that was the number one. And that's a that's people. a great solution. And I know that um, uh, you know leading into that, another solution is is takeout. But that means delivery for a lot of people. Well, many people can come and pick up at the restaurant, correct? Or, or the drive-through, but delivery is is what a lot of people are looking for. You know, where you can just come up and you know prepay and and then set the food down, and and you know that's it, it makes it very simple, very safe, and very easy for people. Um, so you thought about that, and I know you uh, you know had challenges with that, or like where do you get the driver? Where, you know, how do you hire people? What if it's slow one day and busy another, you know, how do you handle this? I think you came up with a, a brilliant idea. So tell, tell our audience about that. So here in Delray, we had, and then we had a little situation where we went to Miami and uh, we had um, started the concept inside of an art gallery that's kind of where the idea came up was that i um to make the transaction faster for people mm -hmm. um, where my my family didn't have to sit and wait hand and foot over everything so then then we went from miami and then i went up into northwood which was a big big was 150 seats at that time and uh, I, I knew that if I wanted to provide still fast service where you come in, you get your food, and then you're not waiting 10 minutes to pay to get out of there, uh, I wanted to create a way where you could just come to sit down and click your food and be gone. Um, and then I, I, it just keep it just kept 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 going. I'm on Grubhub, I'm on Delivery Dudes, I'm on DoorDash, I'm on all of these sites so that people can still get food, Uber Eats, but at cost of restaurant 30%, 30 times up into 33%. And in, in certain situations, you you get paid once a week. You know, Grubhub, they're not paying every day. They pay once a week. And once, you're, once you start to make a certain amount of money, um, you know, so I wanted to, I wanted to help other restaurants out. I wanted to make, I wanted to make a, a vegan, Grubhub's not vegan, DoorDash is not vegan. I wanted to make a full vegan technology to move uh -huh. the community forward. So, and everybody's got to win, right? The drive. So when you become, when you become a driver within a click like i'm looking for people to just download the app when i get orders here at the restaurant the, the orders will go out to everyone and whoever picks the order up whoever decides they want to come grab the food can grab it but the cool thing about it is every single participating partner you're you'll be able to pick up from them too so as, as i start bringing other stores online you're you know uh as a driver and then you know i'm i'm right now i have it set where the driver will make two percent they'll get five dollars for their delivery and then um whatever the tip is that'll go right to the driver and then i'm gonna two percent of two percent of that the sale the pickup um so you know what'll happen is you're going to you're going to now know your delivery guy. You're going to now know this person. If you're, if this person's bringing you food three times a week, take care of them. Mm -hmm. You know Indeed. what I mean? And, and it, it's a win, 
situation. There's no, there's no contract. There's no nothing. And, you know, if you decide you want to take the order, you take it. If not, you, you know, just try to provide more options. I've always looked at providing options, you know, uh, so. We've got a uh, question from one of our, our customers here. I'll put it up there. Um, do you use mostly local organic produce? Yes, yes. Our chickpeas are certified organic. Um, at this at this time, I purchased around ten thousand pounds of chickpeas at once, so that I don't, you know, I have I, I'm stocked up. And then to get um, organic tomatoes and all the other things that go with with uh, uh, my stuff is it's not really difficult uh, to get. But our main sources is our chickpeas, and, and that I, I purchased ten thousand pounds organic chickpeas at once and i that's I, nice i have that's... farmers and, and different local that's awesome supporting the I'm local I'm, community I'm, I'm feeding... yeah actually actually the, the the technology has a farmer's market tab in here so Oh, cool. Uh, you That's the in the uh, in the in a click app, the, right? The farmer. Yes, in, in a click. So the farmers that I'm working with now will be able to load their produce on in a click. You'll be able to grab what you want from the farmer and the driver will go to the farmer and bring it to your house. That, that is so, awesome. Um, that's something that farmers didn't really that's that's a great service seems like we're getting a little bit of uh and i'm gonna do the whole oops. seems like we're uh losing the signal a little bit with you uh i don't want you to uh to, to lose you without giving people a way to get connected with you uh so you want to tell uh tell about how they can find out more about the new vegan uh when they're in town in florida uh, if you're in florida on the Gold Coast, uh, Delray Beach, anywhere now, Delray Beach, check out the new vegan, uh, but also check out the new app too, especially if you live locally in the area um, and you can become a driver, you can support in a click, uh, you can log on as a new vendor or another restaurant, tell them how to get to uh, find out more about those. So if you want to become a restaurant or something as an approval process that I'll, I'll that's that's nothing. But um, if you go to the new vegan.com, I have a tab that'll take you into in a click. So if you go to the new vegan.com, there's a little drop down in a click, the restaurant, the food truck, the delivery, all of those are different menus that'll pop up. But in a click is going to be the module that we're going to use to uh you know, keep everybody contact list and, and, and see. Um, I'm, I already have, I'm working with Whole Foods right now and Publix. They're already on the site. They're already on um, the, so right now I'm working with them. So when you go on to, when you go on to enter click and you see Whole Foods, you'll be able to click that and just the vegan options are going to come up. That's it. Nice. You don't nice. have to search through and go just the vegan options are going to come up on uh, and these are things that I approve so you don't have to worry about oh is it vegan is it not there's nothing on in a click that's that I don't approve myself that's awesome and as a long-term vegan I love what you're doing both with the new vegan the in a click app and again uh, I know the signals have been a little a uh, little come and go for I, I noticed some People say that uh, um, lost connection there for a little bit. Um, so if you didn't hear, I'll go ahead and post those links to the newvegan.com and you can find out more on the New Vegan site uh, about in a click too as well. Really love what you're doing. Give my give my love to uh, Patricia for we me. Gotta, we gotta get you on it, Jeff. I will. We and, gotta get I gotta we gotta get you on. I think people should be able to just click and get their uh get get their uh get their their products you know Sounds I, I got great, cj man. i got cj uh, 
he's super excited about getting started with you. Um, awesome. So we'll, we'll work it all. All right. Looking forward to it. Thank you, man. Great to see you. Thank you for coming on and spending some time with my audience and, and I love what you're doing, brother. Appreciate you. God bless, brother. Jeff. Thank you. Bye, y'all.